Welcome to your Farm and Home Show. My name is Joanna Coles, and this morning we're visiting with Kenneth Clayton. He's with the University of Kentucky Turf Grass Extension there. And today we're going to talk about a grass that can be friend or foe, right? Just depending on where you are. And that's Bermuda grass. Yes, ma'am. It is a aggressively growing grass um, that can be found across the state in Kentucky. Um, it is often grown as a desirable grass on golf courses and sports fields, um, but can be quite a pesky weed in home lawns and landscape areas. And, you know, some homeowners, they go onto the Internet and they read about all the great attributes of Bermuda grass, and they actually want to introduce that into their lawns. But in Kentucky, we have some challenges. Yes. So in Kentucky, we're in what is the transition zone. Um, and we can grow both warm season grasses and cool season grasses in the state. Uh, essentially, the warm season grasses are going to thrive in this hot, humid summer weather that we've had, um, but don't do as well in the cold of the winter. Um, whereas the cool season grasses are going to thrive early in the spring as well in the fall. Um, so we, we have a problem there you know if we're in south florida there's no question about it if you're in canada there's no question about it um, but in kentucky is a little more uh gray area on what is the best grass to be grown and you know a lot of people say well kenneth if i can have this great grass in the summer and my cool season grass in the winter why can't i just have both but that's where the problem is is when we try to intermingle the two the issue with that is that you'll have segmented grasses are our cool season grasses will do better in shaded areas and in low lying areas where it stays cool, but you'll end up with large patches of Bermuda grass that then in the winter will go dormant and turn a brown broom straw color. Um, so and that's going to stick out like a sore thumb in your lawn, which is going to make it aesthetically less pleasing to the eye. Because a Bermuda grass is in a pretty aggressively growing grass. Yes. And I can show you here. Joanna, this is a Bermuda grass plant grown in a small, you know, three inch pot here. Um, and if, if you can see in the video here that it has stolons, which are stems that lay lat laterally across the ground. Um, and this can actually root in and spread, especially into landscaping beds or anywhere you have bare areas here. You can see this one actually has some roots coming off of it where it was digging into another pot in the greenhouse. Um, so it's going to take advantage of any bare areas that you have. Uh, Bermuda grass also has rhizomes, which are stems that grow under the ground and that will pop up new plants where you have any bare area. Um, so the best thing you can do in the state of Kentucky is to prevent Bermuda grasses to have a good, dense, thick stand of grass, desirable grass. Um, and we're talking, you know, raising those mower heights up to around four inches. Um, and that's going to help shade out that Bermuda grass um, and promote the tall fescue and Kentucky bluegrass. And so you mentioned just having a, a nice lush lawn. And we have a lot of publications about how to do that, a lot of information about fall fertilization and, and just practices that could help with that. But if you already have some Bermuda grass in your lawn um, and you just showed how, how aggressively that can grow without having the lush grass, how would we get it if we already have it there? With this weed in particular, we definitely need a combination of cultural as well as chemical controls to get full control. Um, just raising the mowing height is going to be that most easy, you can do it today, um, step to help control this weed. Um, but doing things like fertility, um, we don't want to apply right now when it's 90 degrees every day. We're just going to promote that Bermuda grass. We want to apply the fertility in the fall when our cool season grasses are growing the best. Um, and that, and even after that Bermuda grass has gone dormant, is an excellent time to apply that. That is the, the challenge there. Um, but definitely, if you want full control, we're going to need to look at chemical options as well. All right. Well, Kenneth, you have a new publication out. If people want more information, they can go there and find out more. If you search um, UKY AGR-278, it's a uh, control of Bermuda grass in Kentucky lawns. And I'm sure we can put a link to that up as well. All right. Well, certainly appreciate the information. And if you have questions, make sure to contact your local extension office. Thanks for watching and have a great day.